turn around and look at yourself in the mirror. How about that? Real Housewives of Orange County star Kelly Dodd revealed earlier this year that she and her husband Rick Leventhal were building a new dream home. The couple reportedly bought a house in Newport Beach before their wedding in October 2020, as well as a 2.3 acre plot of land in Palm Springs where they're building another abode. While we don't know all the details about the property that's in the works, Kelly has lived in gorgeous mansions from Orange County to the Hamptons over the years, and today we'll check some of them out. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kelly Dodd is a reality TV star best known for starring on the hit Bravo series The Real Housewives of Orange County. While she's been a main cast member since 2011, it was recently reported that she won't be returning for the upcoming season. Kelly has claimed she felt blindsided by this, as I'm sure so did many of her fans. The fearless and confident Kelly never has a dull moment around her, and most recently has been settling into her new life with her Fox News correspondent husband, Rick Leventhal. The couple tied the knot at the end of 2020 and are settling down in Newport Beach, California, and apparently Palm Springs as well. In the meantime, Kelly and Rick have also put their lavish Hamptons home on the market too, and this was in fact the very place they met back in 2019. At the time of this recording, Kelly has amassed a net worth of about $10 million or more. While the door of Real Housewives has closed for her at the moment, Kelly has moved on to other business deals and ventures to make herself bang. Hey everyone, I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'm bringing you another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment. This one, checking out the lovely homes of Real Housewives of Orange County star Kelly Dodd. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell for notifications because we post brand new videos daily. As always, you can follow me on Instagram if you want to chat. And now let's get into this video. Back in 2017, it was reported that Kelly was selling her well-recognized Corona Del Mar home that often appeared on The Real Housewives. She found a buyer to snag the place off her hands for $5 million, while she and her ex-husband Michael purchased it three years prior for $3.5 million. During their time living in the 4,400 square foot abode, they paid great attention to the interior, extensively upgrading the multi-level home. Some of the updates included high-end fixtures, artistic tile work, a glass paneled staircase and more. Fans of the Bravo series will recognize Kelly's former home and its beachy open floor plan with dramatic white and gold color scheme. Located in the Corona Del Mar neighborhood of Newport Beach, California, you can bet that this seaside property was beautiful. Situated behind secure gates near Big Corona Beach with harbor and ocean views. Inside the contemporary spread boasted five beds, five baths, and features like an elevator that serviced each level. Like I said, Kelly and her ex managed to upgrade this mini mansion to the nines and actually actually dropped another million bucks in 2015 on renovations. They wanted to create the perfect indoor-outdoor flow inside that the home now has, but being on the California coastline, could you blame them? Just like its former owner Kelly, the home brought the drama and had a glamorous interior with French oak floors and fancy stonework. The open-plan chef's kitchen boasted a top-of-the-line La Cornu range, along with a lot of fresh white cabinets and glass sliders looking out to the killer views. The dining room nearby had a funky white chandelier and a party ready wet bar in one corner, but even better, there was actually a bar on every level of the house. Kelly's former beach house also offered a gorgeous living room with walls of built ins and pocket doors that opened to an oceanfront deck. There's that perfect indoor outdoor flow. Not to mention the housewife's former master suite had features like an oversized walk in closet with a crystal chandelier and an ensuite bath with a steam shower. Living in Corona Del Mar is all about the beach, so the expansive decks outside Kelly's home were just perfect for soaking up the sun and location. There was plenty of space to entertain guests, not to mention property was located within walking distance to Corona Del Mar Village and some of the best OC beaches. A rare thing to find in Southern California. Earlier this year in February 2021, it was reported Kelly and her husband Rick were letting go of their beautiful home in the Hamptons where they actually met. Located in West Hampton, Long Island, the beautiful home has been owned by Rick for a whopping 25 years and he listed it at 1.3 $9.5 million. Rick recalled one of the reasons the Hamptons abode was so special to him. This is where Kelly and I met, so it will 
always hold a special place in our hearts. But we are on the West Coast now. One day, if and when we move back east, we hope to buy or build another home for ourselves in the Hamptons. Kelly and Rick met during a barbecue at his house in July 2019, which Kelly attended with her Real Housewives of New York City friend Ramona Singer. Then Rick popped the question only months after Singer introduced the two. The gorgeous Hamptons estate was impressive yet still down to earth, boasting four beds and two baths throughout, along with views of the bay, a tiki bar, and a rooftop deck. Perfect for entertaining. All of the bedrooms are located on the main floor of the home, and much like Kelly's former Newport house, this place had a beachy atmosphere too. The chef's kitchen had been recently upgraded to feature sleek, modern appliances, hardwood floors, and white cabinets. This space led to the spacious living room, which boasted a plush gray couch and wall-mounted TV. Outside, aside from that tiki bar and rooftop deck, there were plenty of other spaces to host guests, including multiple decks, white hammocks, and more. Kelly had decked out the area around the large heated pool with cute string lights and multiple umbrellas for some shade. There's even a cabana nearby and a basketball hoop installed in the pool. Rick had also been renting out the Hamptons home for the past nine years when he wasn't occupying it, and Kelly said what a great income property it had been. It's been a terrific income property and will continue to be. We don't need to sell, but decided weeks ago to test the market since inventory is so low and demand is so high out east. Apparently, the Hamptons real estate market was booming during the ongoing pandemic, so it was a win for the couple. It's been reported that Kelly and Rick purchased a new mansion in Newport Beach around the time of their wedding, and we know that in 2020, the pair was living in a fancy home in Orange County. So let's take a look. While some said the couple bought the home, Kelly herself said it was a luxury rental, and they were paying 10K a month to live here, which is actually a steal. Either way, it's the lovebirds' first home together, and that's pretty exciting. Kelly had described the abode as a family and fun house, boasting six bedrooms, five baths, and features like two offices, I assume one for her and one for Rick. Rentals in Orange County are expensive, so to find a spacious home like this was a challenge for Kelly. She happened to have a friend that was moving and formerly renting the home for 10 grand a month, which was in the couple's budget, and she passed it on to them. Kelly's living room here features vaulted ceilings, a flat screen TV, and comfy cream colored couches, as well as space to hang out with guests. The kitchen has dark, wide plank hardwood floors and ornate white cabinets. And from previous homes, we do know Kelly loves white. Elsewhere in the home, the modern love nest has a massive closet perfect for Kelly and a billiards room, which I'm sure is great for entertaining. Out back, of course, there's also a sprawling swimming pool and spa, as well as a barbecue area and plenty of decks to lounge or dine outside. Another reason the reality star said she loves her family home is because her friends are so close by. My neighbors are Bronwyn Wyndham Burke and Shannon Storms Beater, adding that they are within streets of each other. Finally, we know that whether Kelly and Rick have bought another home in Newport or are still renting that one we just looked at, the couple also invested in some land in Palm Springs. Palm Springs, California is known for being a luxury vacation spot with the likes of Kris Jenner and her family even buying mansions here for a getaway. It appears Kelly and Rick are now building a dream home in Palm Springs as well, but no word yet whether it will be their main property or just a getaway. The Real Housewives star shared several videos on her Instagram earlier this year as she and her husband walked around their empty plot of land in Palm Springs, a 2.32 acre property with a lot of potential. While we don't know how much they spent on the land, we do know Kelly made sure to hire the best of the best when it came to building the mansion. Famous architect Gordon Stein and builder Nate Rucker. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. All right, so I think that brings us to the end of our Real Housewives of Orange County star Kelly Dodd's house tour. We checked out a couple of her former properties, her Newport rental, and what we know about her future house plans. What did you guys think? Does she have good taste? I think her first estate in Corona Del Mar was hard to top because of the sleek modern look and all of the work she put into it, not to mention the beachfront location. However, I'm sure what she and Rick are planning to build in Palm Springs will be nothing short of amazing and I can't wait. I've also been reading all your comments on the channel and I'm going to be shouting you guys out. These are from our Real Housewives of Beverly Hills Garcelle Bouvet house tour. TSM rapper said, Big like, I can visit this channel daily. You have some very interesting content, friend. Keep it up. I'm here to stay. Honestly, fully viewed. I had to connect with this channel as soon as I saw the content. Much love to you. Thank you so much for the support. Hope you continue watching and let me know which celebrities you would like to see here next. Joyce Mack also said about Garcelle's home, beautiful home. 
and I couldn't agree more. If you guys want me to feature you or your favorite celebrities' homes, be sure to drop me a comment below or tell me your thoughts on Kelly's home. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, and I will see you all next time. Bye!